hello welcome to or back to my channel for this video i'm gonna kind of do like college takeaways after one semester or like what to expect as a freshman at michigan i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with like this tiktok trend but it's basically just like college takeaways i've seen a lot of these videos i'm just gonna kind of talk about like what to expect as a freshman and then in a previous youtube video someone asked me to rank the classes i took so this could be helpful if you're like looking at like what classes to take or you were like interested in a class that I took and like you want to know what the class was like. Like I'll give like a little insider's look, I guess you could say. Expect hard classes. I mean, Michigan's like definitely not easy academically. I will say I've noticed that the math and like kind of like science department, I haven't really taken many science classes, but like I, I know that like engineering is really hard. Um, at least if you're like a business major, math like calculus is really hard and economics. So I don't really know what to categorize that as. I just think of it kind of as like STEM or like the math department is really hard. Okay, I feel like this is something I saw in a lot of just like college takeaway videos in general is that you'll probably get sick. Um, I know a lot of people get sick from the frats, like have gotten, I mean, obviously COVID, um, like the flu, people get cold. Um, I didn't get any of those. I got food poisoning. <laughs> so like, you know, we're all getting our own sicknesses. I, I'm not saying you're gonna get sick, but like, there's a good chance you'll catch something in college. I mean, that's just how it is, especially if you're living in a dorm. Something a lot of people don't talk about is like how homesick you will feel. I remember like when I was leaving for college, everyone was like, this can be the best like four years of your life, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, mm, no. Like, I'm literally going to be a second semester freshman and I'm still homesick. And yeah, it definitely gets like easier, but I just think it's like a big adjustment in general for anyone to like move away from home, to live in a dorm. Um, there's like a lot of independence that comes with it, like doing your own laundry and just, I mean, it's like you're basically living alone. So I will say you'll probably feel homesickness. I just think no one like wants to admit they're homesick and everyone wants to pretend that they're okay, but like realistically you'll probably feel homesick at some point like everyone wants to go back to their home like their parents do their laundry cook for them and just like sleep in their own bed and not have to like share a room with a roommate like at some point like i'm telling you like no matter how much you love your school how much you love your roommate like it will happen so just be prepared homesickness is just like a part of college okay this one i saw like on a tiktok like a while ago about how like People are scared as freshmen like to eat alone. Like you can tell when someone is a freshman because they never want to eat alone. There's literally nothing wrong with eating alone. I literally eat alone like every day because um, my roommate usually like eats in our dorm. But like there's literally nothing wrong with it. Everyone has different schedules, even if it's at like dinner or the weekends. Like literally who cares? Like no one's going to think you're weird. Like sometimes people just like to eat alone. I mean, I don't really care to eat alone. I mean, I don't know if people just like, are like embarrassed or they think people are gonna think they're like loners or have no friends. Like I literally don't care. Like eating alone is totally fine. Just like, I don't even know why that's a thing. This one I feel like is a big thing is like making friends. I feel like people post a lot with like big groups of friends. They're probably not even friends with them or like that close. Like I'm, pretty sure most people have like less than five really close friends in college i only have like two right now but like even if you're an introvert you can definitely make friends like i feel like it kind of just falls into place like you'll definitely attract people who you want to meet but just like don't be too stressed out about like a timeline of when you need to get friends or like where you need to make friends um but if you're like kind of actively seeking I would say like look in your classes or in clubs because those people probably already have like similar interests if they're taking like the same class as you or they join the same club. So that's already like an easy conversation starter. I really just like recommend like talking to everyone even if it's just small talk, which I know it can be hard. Like I have a lot of social anxiety, so it's definitely not easy for me. But like if you're like sitting next to someone in like a class, just be like, hi, I'm blah, blah, blah. And like I just ask for people's numbers like if I don't know anyone in the class because I'm like we'll just like start to text about homework and then maybe it'll become like a bigger friendship. Don't expect to have like a huge friend group immediately like friendships take time and you'll honestly make friends I feel like every single semester just like meeting new people. So don't stress out about like not having friends at the beginning because like I literally had I have like three friends like 
you know, it is what it is. Next one is living in a dorm. Yeah, dorms are honestly just inconvenient, like sharing a room with someone, sharing like bathrooms with a whole floor, going down to the dining hall, doing your own laundry. You just like expect for it to be an adjustment unless you like already share a room with someone or like have like gone to summer camp. Like I don't really know. I mean, I had shared a room with like my brother when we were younger, but like still for me, it was like really hard to like adjust to like kind of making a routine and like doing everything for myself, like planning out like when to do my laundry. Um, and like also a routine like with my roommate of like our sleeping schedules and just like when we wake up to go to class and like it's definitely inconvenient at times but you'll definitely get used to it like it's not the worst thing ever like I don't really like the dorms I know some people do I think most people just want their own room and like their own space like it definitely is hard especially with like just adjusting to college in general and like adjusting to like a whole new way of living and like eating in the dining hall every day like stuff like that like I don't know frats I mean I feel like everyone kind of has mixed feelings about frats I personally don't enjoy frats I know some people do but I've also heard that over time like people get kind of like bored of them so I don't know go experience it for yourself and see what it's like but like don't feel like you have to go to frats to like have fun or like meet people like that's so not true like you can definitely find people who don't want to go to frats last thing i'll talk about is ranking my classes i'll try to make this fast because i've been talking so much i apologize I took business administration ba 100 i liked ba 100 it's very like discussion based uh homework's a lot of like articles the time commitment for the homework is very minimal and i'm interested in business so i personally found like the articles very interesting like what we talked about in class i thought it was like collaborative i loved the people in my group we did this thing called like biz cafe which is like a simulation of a cafe um and i i just loved my group they're the best it's like a pass fail class so it's pretty easy the class is only like seven weeks and then you do like co-curriculars so i really like that um second i took communications com 102 um because i'm really interested in communications i don't think i'm gonna minor in it but i will take like a lot of classes just to fill like my distribution requirements okay I liked communications, like the topic. I don't know if this is just because of COVID, but it was basically asynchronous. So like my teacher would just post the lectures and then we had discussions, but I it wasn't the full semester of discussions. Um, so personally, I had like a really hard time like grasping concepts just because I don't I don't think I learn well asynchronously. So um if you're taking calm, just like keep that in mind if you're like not that good at like learning online. The other thing I don't like about the class is that there were like two tests and a paper that basically determine your grade. I feel like a lot of college classes are like that, but there's also like other things intertwined with that. I don't know. I just, I didn't find that great about calm. So love the topic. Not a huge fan of how the class was run, but like I said, that could just be due to COVID. On to calculus. The about calculus is that it's like about 20 25 kids per class and there's just like a lot of sections so i really liked it because you get like close with like your gsi and it's just like more collaborative which i think is really helpful for a math class so i actually really liked about calculus i don't think anyone like really loves calculus um but i like the people in my class i like the way my class was run um but mm, it's still calculus like the material you definitely have to like put work into maybe it comes easier to some people but i'll talk a little bit in depth about the style of the class so basically there's web work which is like online homework web work's kind of annoying like it's helpful but like none of those questions are ever on the midterm so they're like kind of useless <laughs> and then there's two midterms no finals i would say the midterms are definitely reasonable they will give you practice tests and you can also go onto this website i forget the name uh we can like kind of do practice problems so the questions on the midterm are definitely questions you've seen before but just with different like wording so i will say like if you don't do well in the midterm like it's kind of on you like they're not going to throw in anything you've never seen before you've definitely seen those questions so just like know those type of questions well if that makes sense and the last thing you do are masteries these things are kind of a pain but 
they're definitely possible. I mean, I got a hundred on like every single one. Like just put in the work and start early. Basically what they are, like, about seven questions. The final one is 10 related to different topics. There's like derivatives, integrals, functions in the final one. And you can take them as many times as you want. There's like a little time period. Questions are pretty similar. They don't repeat themselves. So it's not like you're taking the same test over and over again, but it's like similar style questions that are kind of like recycled with different values. I kind of like the masteries, like just start early, like definitely learn those types of questions. They give you like the solutions for most of them. So like if you nail like the concepts, you should be fine with like just plugging in different values. So overall, I liked calculus. Like I said, it's like, it's still calculus. Like it's math, like how much can you enjoy it? But I liked the way that it was like run and I really enjoyed like my GSI and my class. So yeah, pretty good overall. Oh, I took Dutch 160, love that class. It's a first year seminar, really small class, like 20, 25 kids. There are like a bunch of athletes in my class, which is kind of funny. Um, I loved my teacher, oh my gosh. I'll put her name on the screen. So like if you wanna take a class by her, it's great. I think it fulfills like either humanities or social science. I personally love European history. The class is really easy. You do like two write-ups of like one paragraph a week. Um, it is a lot of reading, but like the actual assignments aren't hard. Um, I think we had a midterm paper and then our final was like mini essays, but they were like open note. So like the class is really reasonable and it was honestly one of my favorite classes. Teacher is amazing. I loved her. I would really consider taking one of her other courses. She's amazing. And the class, like the workload is really, really doable. I'll do a little honorable mention for the class I dropped. I hated this class. Like unless you actually have to take this class for your major, like don't do it. If you're thinking about taking it for fun. I took stats 206 and I hated it. I don't know if it was because it was like 8.33 days in a row for me. Yeah, I mean, the lectures were just like boring to me. I love statistics. I took AP stats. I guess this is technically intro to data, data science. So it's like different, but it was all coding. I hated it. Um, <laughs> uh, I could like go on and on about how much I hate this class. I spent, like I basically went to like every office hour to get help on like the homework and my GSI would be like, yeah, I had to look at the answer key. Like I didn't know how to do this problem either and i was like yeah like most people didn't know what they were doing it was so much coding i have no coding experience the tests were hard the, the assignments were just hard in general it's also like a newer class i think it's like two years old or something so the resources aren't great i'm sure the teacher is good like he had good reviews on like rate my professor literally if you don't like a class drop it if it has nothing to do with your major because it's not worth it to spend all your time class especially because you're like paying money for it basically that's basically a rundown of like all my classes if i had to rate them like in order okay i'll do dutch calculus business administration communications and then stats anyway um next semester i'm taking okay business administration's a full year so i'm taking business administration Business communications, you have to take winter of freshman year BCom 250. I'm taking Econ 101. You also have to take that by the winter of your freshman year. Those are all like for the business majors. And then I'm taking English 125, which all freshmen have to take a English class, like a, what is it called? English, it's like an English first year writing requirement. I'm taking English 125. I think also 124 is accepted. There's like a few different courses. So I'm taking 125. And I'm also taking a first year seminar, which I'm pretty sure covers a natural science requirement because I dropped statistics, which was natural science. So I need a new requirement. So I'm taking Environ 139. But definitely comment below if you have like any other questions, like if you're worried about some things in college um, that I didn't cover and like what to expect. If you have any more questions about my courses, drop them in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. But thank you for watching. I hope this helps someone and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.